today we're coming with a very interesting topic, Dutch style tanks to you. You've been requesting this numerous times in, in your comments. Thanks for the requests, thanks for the idea. And I was always afraid to do this because, you know, I'm not a big Dutch tank expert and I personally think that making Dutch tanks has so many rules that I personally would not be able to adhere to. So I would probably have a lot of problems building a proper Dutch tank. And you guys who are much, much better at this than I am would say that, okay, Balaj, what are you doing? So today we have here Erkut Akildiz, who is a Turkish Canadian aquascaper and YouTuber and has a great YouTube channel with the name of Tropic Tank. I'm gonna link that in the description and actually Erkut is above just above 80,000 subscribers, which is really a lot, and he's working to have the 100,000K. So pause this video, go to Tropic Tank's channel, link in the description, and let's put him above 100,000. Let's see if we can do that. I've seen your channel. I think that you make more color grading on your channel than we do exactly, <laughs> on the yes, Green Aqua channel. Definitely. <laughs> and the production quality of that channel is great. Thank you and so much. Actually, this is the debut for you because you have never appeared in your yeah, own video. First time, yes. You're gonna do a Dutch style tank here. Yes. All right, so before we begin, do you wanna do the honors? Sure. Welcome to the beautiful world of aqua escaping. Building a Dutch style tank, first rule, there's no hardscape visible in the tank, right? Yes, that's correct. So how do you go? What do you know? You've got quite a few very good Dutch style tank videos on your channel, oh, all cinematic you. videos. You, yeah. How do you start? I'm just deciding the color graduation. I mean, where I'm gonna start, which color I'm going to start. You mean the and... color of the plants? Yes. All right. So then how it's gonna be end, like red to orange and yellow and green. First, I'm deciding those uh, rules for myself. We're gonna do a 60 by 30 by 36 centimeter tank here. We're not gonna have so many plants in there. We're gonna have probably 50 pots. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you wanna make a plan? Because we- Yeah, have... let's do the layout first, if you like. Let's go like that, like this. It's gonna be the paths, you know, like like this. What, what kind of paths? This is going to be the graduation, you know. We're gonna start from red here to we're gonna end with the red here, so. So we start from, uh, from red to green and then back yes, to red? Yes, yes. Middle has to be, I mean, yeah. I go with the red also again. And then you have the greens. Yep. Oh, you can choose Yeah, exactly, green. yeah. So then go like that little bit. Shades of green. Exactly, yeah, here and the here also, maybe some green here. Uh -huh. This is totally what you like, you know, so... This looks like uh, the flag of something else, but... Seychelles, <laughs> probably. You have no hardscape in a Dutch style tank, except you do... Furlough oh, yes. stones, and we use this? The barrier, yeah. Oh, barrier, yeah. okay. So because we use... we're gonna make it uphill, right? Let's move on to plant selection, and okay. then after that, we're gonna go to the studio and we're gonna build the 60p tank there. All right, so let's start with uh, moving uh, backwards. So whatever you like in this one, sure. you're gonna select. Which one is the first one? Yeah, we can start with Ludwig here. Super red. Posters. Yeah, Super right red. side background. And then let's go with the... HRA. Yeah. Rotala, Rotundifolia, HRA, It is HRA, going to be Vietnam, left right? side background. There's a good, oh, the nice green one. That's the Hungarian name is Atokhinar from my childhood. This is a very old plant, it's Egeria Densa. What do you want in the foreground? Do you want like a foreground yeah. plant or you want only stems in the, in the tank? What do you think repens you guys can handle? Sterogyne repens? Yes. If you actually trim sterogyne repens, you can keep it low. I'm really afraid of using uh, sterogyne repens for the foreground. Okay, again, dust tie tanks are a maintenance nightmare probably. Yeah, exactly, so You need yes. to trim them because it's full of stem plants, only plants. This is it. Yep. Sterogyne repens, small. Two cups going to be enough, I think. Okay. I'm gonna cover over here completely with this guy. You kidding? Yeah. Ten, ten pots? No. 
Yes, no. you're at Green Aqua now. So again, let's explain to them how we work. We do plant very densely from the beginning because we want, and, and this is especially true for the uh, Dutch tie tank, you have only plants and you have only three or four weeks before we release this video. Don't uh, skip this one, huh? Oh, the, yeah. the Alternatera. Yes, because Rainy it's in the middle, right? Rosenervig. Yeah. We can get Pogestomon erectus. How many? Four pots, yeah. Okay, let's make it five. Is this Japonica? Blixa Japonica, yeah. yes. What do you think? Well, what do you think? Besides not... that stuff, this is darker, right? Yes. Besides uh, this guy. Oh, okay, so let's use the Pogostemon yeah. Helferi so in the here, foreground. Yeah, so let's is... scratch out the Blixa, we don't need yes, that. No. And then we will have Pogostemon. Yes. And do you need any mid-ground plants or anything? Mid-ground, yeah, what we can do. The, the option is so much over here, so it's hard to decide, you know. Is there a maximum number of plants that you could use in a Dutch style tank? Or you can use as many plants as possible? Or yeah, just, what is the smallest number that you would want to use? Is, is there range or not? Seven or eight different types most that's, of the time. That's yeah. what you like. Yeah. For me, there is no rules. Just the colorful, nice, healthy planted tanks with the so many colors. Lobelia, got it. Yeah. How many? This is crazy plant, so two or three is maximum enough. Two. Three. Two, three, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's easy to argue let's with, go with me. Yeah. You say two, I always say three. Okay, yeah, let's <laughs> you go say with... four, I say five. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Orshi, our dear colleague, will help us uh, with preparing the plants. Excellent. So let's move to the studio. Let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> Orshi was kind enough to prepare these plants for us. How many plants do we have in total? 37. Not bad, yeah. No, we're gonna it's going to be enough, yeah, I think so. How do we start? With the substrate, of course. This is the uh, ADA Power Sand Advance. How thick of a layer of uh, it? One centimeter. Tell me if I'm a good assistant or not. You are the best. I'm gonna try to make some cone style, you know, shape over here. The Amazonia version too needs these uh, capsules. It does not contain enough nutrients, the soil itself. So you need to add okay. these capsules. I like it, buddy. Feeding like fish. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of soil do you usually use? Neo soil, Aquario Neo, Aquart Poland, the Pro Substrate. Okay. That's good too. Mm -hmm. Or Tropica. Okay, so... The dinner has been served. <laughs> can I switch the tank and uh, see sure, what's happening? Sure, you can do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And let's That's see good. how it looks like. Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, this in the background is Erkut's channel, Tropic Tank. So these are the Frodo stones. Yeah. And we selected smaller pieces. What do they do? They're gonna hold the soil, you know, during the placement. The whole idea behind the Dutch tank is not to have any hardscape visible, right? Yeah. Don't you find that this is a little bit uh, limiting your choices or what do you think about it? That's the way I like it, you know, I mean, just colorful, like a garden style tank, you know, I love it. Yeah. More If you want to make it higher, you would probably need another barrier, yes. right? Yes. Let's make it one more layer. This is the easiest layout that I've seen. That's why Dutch style is the easiest one, you know. For is it me. now? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Only the problem is you have to keep those guys healthy. Normally I start from the back, okay? So it's okay. easy for me to decide which way I am gonna go. We are going to like a V shape, right? Yeah. So let me start from the back, Rotundifolia. Rotundifolia is... Did we you cancel didn't the... choose Rotundifolia. Yeah. So we Rotundifolia. didn't. You can steer from the Fukuda 60. No, no, no. It's no, a... let's steer. We always steer. Yeah, okay. We always do that. Tommy likes it. Okay. Rotundifolia, please, as many as you can without damaging the scape or she. 
Uh, Which like, one? That uh, scape, the left side, the, 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 the first one. Oh no! Don't, don't. <laughs> oh don't, yeah, don't. we have to. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna start from here to like that, the V shape. Do you want us to mark the lines with some bamboo sticks? That's beautiful idea. Okay. Yeah. So we are going to start with Rotella Vietnam. So first placement. Let's go. You can have the second line. Now. Yes, with this one. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So this is red and then orangish and then we can go dark green. Going to prepare the plants for you so that you can push them in. If uh, you move with the tops at the foreground, it's going to be more beautiful. Yeah. And then when we get to the bottoms, we can use them at the back. I have one more. Where do you want me to put it? Oh, um, here, here maybe. Yep. And here is good. Okay, let's start the new line. This is tall plant, right? So we're gonna keep trim this one to keep short. We can use another tall plant beside that. Okay. For example, Erectus. What did I tell you about 50? Oh my. What did I tell you about 50? We're gonna get to 50, I promise. Uh, this is the, the thing that we stole from, uh, from the Brazilian tank. Yeah. Give me the higher one so I can start from the back. Do you trim these templates after you fill it up immediately no. so that you see a shape? I wait on, I mean, two weeks or something, one and a half weeks. And then I start to trim slowly, not the mass trimming, you know, so just small pieces. Okay, so we have one line here, one line over here, and the big red line. I never had uh, Mr. Romano's uh, tweezers. tweezers, never had. So what's gonna happen is that uh, the ones that you're holding is a present for you. Oh, thank so you so much. Right. Thank you. We can use meat ground on the back because there is already uphill here. So, I see, yeah. okay. We need more lobelias probably. No, no, it's okay. Yes? Yeah, this is crazy plant, so it's going to cover everywhere, don't worry. Oh, thank you. These that we plant to have here, and we use the lobelias there. <laughs> yeah. You remember? <laughs> okay, so... You want to take that out? <laughs> well? So, yeah. let's go with the... Uh, we the the lobelias should go in here, I'm telling you. You're right. I love this. I love how how the creation process yeah. is being decided while we work. Mm -hmm. This, what we do now, is not clumsiness. It's not a problem. You're doing the same thing with plants like I would do with hardscape. So you guys, let me explain once again what we did. Is we used the super red by accident here, right? That was step one. Yes. And then we realized that the super red should have gone over there. The that left corner. Corner, yeah. So then we switched it and instead of super red, we planted the lobelia, which we realized that it would be better off here because this line here got too thick. So we actually take it out, put it here. And then as the last step, hopefully, <laughs> and we're not going to change it again, we'll see. We put this here. Green, yeah. green, red. You like that? Yeah. Okay. So you want me to fill up from here to there yes, with, with the with Alterna the, Terra Mini? Yeah. He used Hell Fairy as a foreground plant in one of his videos. Yeah, in my shallow tank. People go, subscribe, and then find it. I love this, this side better, you know? Ooh, so fresh. Yeah, because you planted that side. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you like it better. <laughs> so this is ADA tweezer, huh? Wow, man. 
So pointy, look at that. You see this um, grids? Yes. It's holding when you take it out the tweezer, so it's taking out the plant. So, but this one is so pointy, the tips, so it's good. On the left side, you see the Rotala HRR Vietnam, Vietnam yeah. which will not look like this. Yeah, it's going to be bloody red. The second stripe, Limnophila hippuridoides, Egeria densa, mm -hmm. the third stripe, and then you have the Lobelia, and then you have the Rosenervic, and then you have the uh, Pocostemon erectus, erectus, yes, and then yeah. the plant stolen, the Rotala yeah. rotundifolia, and then as the last step, we have the Ludwigia super red. And in the foreground, we have the Pogostemon heferi, we have Sterogyne repens, and then we have the uh, Alternantera rainy kimini. Yep. That's good, my friend. Thank you, buddy. Thank Erkut again for being here thank with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. Please do not forget that you need to support, show a little love to him by going to the, uh, his channel, Tropic Tank, linked in the description. All right, so thanks again for watching us. And thanks for having me. All right, yeah. we'll see you next week. Bye. See you.